Welcome. Thank you for joining us again. You know, today we will be talking about one of my favorite brands, Iron Heart. And uh, forgive me if I get a little enthusiastic because I'm just that passionate about denim and especially what folks at Iron Heart are doing. You know, in the last video, I um, alluded and referred and created this imaginary category as a premium fader. Now, I'll tell you why I um, nicknamed it uh, the category itself, premium fader. First of all, it's a premium brand. Uh, they're over engineered. I mean, they've got features <laughs> that you wouldn't know jeans even have those features. They are so well constructed. And here's the amazing thing. Every pair is constructed to the same standard. So, you know, we were talking in the last video about some of the different features. Like for example, salvage fly on both sides. Uh, I'm gonna make it, uh, so salvage fly is on both sides. Well, every pair of jeans has this feature. The back pockets, they're lined. Every pair of jeans has this feature. We looked at the belt loops, they're tucked. It's the only brand that does that that I know. And every pair of jeans, I mean, regardless, from the most expensive to you know, the least expensive in the model has this feature. This specific pair I'm holding is triple six and it's the 21 ounce denim. So let's talk about iron heart denims. You know, I, I'm, they make variety of different denims, variety of different cuts. But if you're starting up and you, you, you're saying, okay, what are the most pop popular cuts and what are the most sought after denim? So, so we're gonna sort of touch on that. By no means we're gonna be um, detailed and cover everything. It's not quite possible for the length of this video. So we're just gonna highlight, you know, they're unique and coveted and sought after fabrics. And we're gonna highlight um, most popular cuts uh, of their jeans. So in terms of fabric, you know, we're really looking at um, three major uh, fabrics. So remember the premium faders. So the, the, the denim, the fabric is, is, is prized for the ability to create these incredible fades. So the top three would be in number one spot, um, because it's been around a little bit longer, is 19 ounce left hand twill. 19 ounce left hand twill, it's incredible fabric. In fact, the denim, has so much indigo and it's so unstable that it will get on your skin, it will get on your couch, it will get everywhere. But the most important thing, it will get off the jeans and they will fade and they will look stunning. And I will show you the example of what it looks like. So I've got in my hand an example of what left 19 ounce left hand twill fades look like. And look at that. I mean, look at the honeycombs. Oh my goodness, it's enough to fade. <laughs> Pun intended, the fades look so good. So this is 19 ounce left hand twill. The other big one, and it's literally very big, is 25 ounce 
<laughs> 25 ounce in iron heart. It's not for faint hearted. You know, when I got this pair of jeans, the first two weeks was brutal. You know, it was pinching under my knees. It was crushing my, my um, hips. It was crushing my kneecaps. But after a couple of weeks, I wouldn't say they're, they're as comfortable as pajama pants, but they get really comfortable. They mold to your body. They're stunning. So this example is still, I would say, halfway to the perfection being faded, but you can see the fades are absolutely starting to come in. 25 ounce, a heavyweight champion. And the third, you know, uh, denim that Iron Heart produces for those classic, classic fades is, um, I've got a brand new example here, is 21 ounce. Those three, if you're looking to get a pair that will produce massive fades, you can't go wrong. This will give you more um, classic fade, not so much crazy contrast. Whereas the other two will give you just that crazy contrast, those sharp fades. And you know, what happens in 25 ounce, the heavier the denim, the more friction it creates, the sharper the fades are. So we covered three different fabrics, three different denims that are prized for the ability to fade. And you're looking, okay, I'm ready to jump in. I'm ready to get myself a pair, but I'm looking at all the different cuts. Which one should I go with? Well, the most, um, I would say the most popular one is the 777, the triple seven cut. Triple seven cut is um, quite slim. It's a straight cut. cut. You know, I am, um, 5'9", 165 pounds. I take size 31 in Iron Heart. And um, triple seven is my go-to cut. Um, you know, I've got a, you know, regime of training and, and lifting, but uh, I don't go crazy on <laughs> building my thighs. So the triple seven works really well for me. Now, if you are a bodybuilder and you work in those thighs, you've got big muscles, triple uh, seven probably not gonna work for you because the, 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 the cut for the thighs are quite uh, slim. Then I would recommend to go 634. 634 has got a very generous, you know, top block. It's still quite a slimmer, you know, I would say, um, medium to slim uh, in, in terms of um, body and it's a straight cut and it's very much reminiscent of that 511 from from 50s you know not as full but it, it has that nice comfortable fullness so triple seven six three four the other two that's really worth mentioning is the triple six of what they call the devil's cut. Um, triple six, it's got, um, you know, slim thighs, but a little bit bigger um, boot opening. So if you're into engineers, you know, um, if you uh, like a little bit more for your uh, ham opening, triple six is the cut to go. You know, for, to give you an example, triple seven, uh, in size 31, in my size, has a hem opening of seven inch, and then of course, triple six, a little bit bigger, that would be um, seven and a half. <laughs> and one more cut I wanna uh, point out, especially to uh, people who are young and uh, tall and slim, and you're looking for a very slim cut, so that would be triple five. Triple five 
It's one of the slimmest cut that um, Ironheart makes. Uh, one of the things I should mention, you know, most of the cuts that Ironheart, their production, their continuous production cuts, they're straight cuts. It's just a matter of um, you get in a slim straight, <laughs> you get in a medium straight, or you get in a full straight. So to my knowledge, except for some special additions that I've missed, they don't, don't have those modern tapered cuts that everybody is looking for. So that, that might be a deal breaker for you, but um, we will give you an option um, in Samurai that, that has that, uh, you know, high tapered uh, cut that everybody is looking for. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope that, um, you know, you've learned something um, or maybe um, it reminded you that of something that you knew about iron heart and picked your interest maybe reignited the passion you want to go to the closet and you know get those pairs of iron hearts that you had stashed up and maybe continue working on the fades well if you like this video subscribe and like and uh, please do join us for the next one. Thank you.